I trust that I'm not the first to give you a welcome today. I'm glad to see each one that's here. We are so glad you came. We are looking forward to this, and we hope that you are as well. It will be a worship service, but it will be done in music and in song. And we have asked the Lord to speak to our hearts as we sing that we might offer it as a form of worship. So we trust that you will worship with us as we progress through the program. Things are a little bit different today, so I've got plenty of cheat sheets here to help me through the service. And uh, we're going to do the best we can to make things run smoothly and run well, and we'll get you out of here in time for a nice lunch. And if we run a little over, you're still in time for a nice lunch, because we're going to feed you in back. And you'll get to the back where we're going to feed you before you would ever get to IHOP, even if we run a little long, okay? So we're in good shape today. Um, we, we look forward to a great time of blessing. Would you join with me as we go to the Lord in prayer? In prayer? Our Heavenly Father and Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful weather. What a Christmas weather it is. Uh, what a time of year for 70 degree weather. And without storms and with all the blessings of God, you are certainly good to us, and we appreciate you. And we come this morning to worship and to seek your blessing. As we seek your blessing, Father, we look at each one out here this morning and we realize that there are so many needs. Everyone has a care. Each heart has a concern. Father, we invite you to examine hearts and minds today, to know us, and to know our needs, and to meet the needs of your people. Father, we invite you here this morning openly, <coughs> honestly, and warmly. We, we desire your presence. Would we worship in spirit and in truth? And would you bless each one here? Father, we ask in Jesus' name, as he is the reason for the season. Amen. Our hymn and greeting, if you're new with us, you may not be familiar with just what we do, but we'll turn to page 171. We'll ask you to stand and sing that with us. At the end of the hymn, we will have a greeting time. And you greet one another and feel welcome and feel the love that's in the air. And then do not sit down. We go back to the hymn on 171 and we'll sing the first verse again. So please join us as we do that. Page 171, please stand as we sing. <laughs>
next Sunday and we'll do it again. That's great. Inside your bulletin on the inside front page at the bottom is our memory verse for December. I'll invite you to repeat that with us as we recite it and submit it to our hearts. Please repeat with me. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2.11. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. 2 Corinthians 9.15. We began the Advent season with the lighting of our Advent candles. Our first candle is a candle of hope. Our second candle was the candle of joy. Our candle last week was the candle of peace. Our candle this week, our final candle, is the candle of love. Please, sir. 